If you invite someone to comment on your VoiceThread, either as an individual person or as a member of a group, those people can also upload new slides into your VoiceThread. Don't worry, you can turn this ability off in the playback settings for the VoiceThread if you don't want them to be able to do this. But before you do, let's just take a look at exactly how this feature works and how it can make your VoiceThread into a much more collaborative space. Here's a VoiceThread that I've been invited to comment on. I can't edit it like an editor or an owner can by changing the sharing or playback preferences. But if I want to upload a piece of media into it, I'll just click on the Slide Navigator button down here, then click on the Add Media button, where I can then decide what kind of slide to add. I can record an audio slide, a webcam video slide, or click this button to upload something I already have. So I'm going to upload a video here, but you can upload documents, presentation slides, images, and other types of media too. Now once it's done processing, you'll see this window here where you can give your slide a title before you go and save it. Now you and everyone else who can see this voice thread will see your slide, but only you will be able to edit or delete your own slide, and you won't be able to edit or delete or move anybody else's slides. Only the editors of the voice thread will be able to edit, delete, or move all of them. Using that workflow might allow you to use just one voice thread, keeping things really, really simple and well-organized in the course space.